everyone, welcome back to another video. So the outside's had quite a bit of attention as you've seen in the previous videos. Thought it was now time to get the interior a bit of a spruce up. And the first thing, yeah, carpets. I've had these carpets since January, since Bingley Hall. Just got the under felt and I thought it's now time to get it done because it stinks inside. It's always had matrix cool leaks before and damp and yeah, it doesn't smell very good to be honest. So the old carpet's coming out, the old underlay, completely clean gutted and then the new one's going in. Before I do that, a quick shout out to Randy at Lone Star Mini for this sign, which I got a few others at IMM as well, but thanks very much Randy. Got the Texas sign from you and up the top the Texas flag, which is probably off camera for you guys at the moment. But uh, thanks very much, really much appreciated and it was fantastic meeting you along with all the other guys at IMM. Uh, I look forward to the next time. Right, let's get on with the new carpet. So it's always a bit worrying lifting the carpet on an old car because you never know what you're going to find under there. Fingers crossed I've been through it and there's nothing but <laughs> there's always that nagging doubt. Um, this inside needs well cleaned because it's got all the dust and everything from doing all the outside work and um, this carpet's past its best. So the first thing I'm going to do is get all this out but before I get the carpet out I need to remove a few things. The seats need to come out. The seatbelt anchor on the bottom needs to come out and the seatbelt anchors in the middle need to come out and they're all just bolts so let's crack on with that first and then we can just pull the carpet out right seats first four bolts one two three four simple in theory do you have to take the seats out no you could work around them especially for the front because the carpet's just left up but for room for getting it done properly and for this the time it takes, it's coming out. So with the seats out, the only other things needing removed are the centre seat belt holders and the ones that attach to the inner cell. Four bolts. are undone, this just needs lifted off. You can see all the marks and everything here. The carpet is in a pretty sad state. I do like the colour but as you've seen at the start I went for black. This is genuinely the first time I'll have seen these floors from the top side. Uh, I've not looked before so <laughs> if I see something I don't like you'll be the first guys to see me doing it but I'm just going to lift it all off starting with the back, working to the front and then um, have a good look at the floors once they're exposed. So I know this side before because I didn't work on the sill, so I know that's okay.
Right, the last bit and the tricky bit. Carpet's all up here, just above the tow board, so the heater has to come out slightly to get in because it's, as you can see, wedged behind it. Quite uh, well put in, actually. So the heater, I'm not going to detach any of the coolant hoses. The heater has a bolt here that undoes, not all the way, just enough to slacken it. And then it has two screws, one here and one there. They come undone, it just lifts it enough to pull this out of the way. As you can tell, it's quite fiddly. It goes up right behind the pedal boxes there, and there's a lot of wire in that you have to be careful not to pull out. So um, yeah, this is when it starts getting fiddly. So I'm going to go lie very uncomfortably on here and cut some of the carpet away. Right, all the carpets out, all the underlays out, and I've given it a hoover out. And the floor is like brand new, it really is. And you can tell it's original, um, just the way it's sealed and joined in. Heelboard, excellent condition. The floor, all the usual points, um, really good. There's no concerns for me here to say it's all like new. A couple of bits of the carpet I've got stuck, just need scraped off, but yeah, I'm very impressed. Right. I've lined the underlay up. I'm going to start with the small bits. These two and these that go on the basically over here and then over here. Spray with contact adhesive, get as much of the surface clean as I can so it sticks to it. And it's just a case of spraying this surface, spraying the underlay and pushing it down, letting it dry. Stuff I've got, I think it's fairly standard with uh, most of them, just dries in a few minutes, so rather than put it down and um, not stick it down, I'm wanting it to look nice when it's in there, so it's getting stuck down. So that was quite therapeutic actually, getting um, it looking nice even though it's never going to be seen. So the underlay, the only thing I was a bit disappointed with is the kit doesn't come with the, the tow board bulkhead bit, but um, I'm quite happy with that as it is just there. Um, 
I'll see how it is noise wise but to be honest how much am I going to notice the difference with the noise of the Mini from that yeah, I've yet to open my carpet set I should have maybe done that first <laughs> but um, that should come with the top bit and everything else so yeah I'm going to get the carpet looked out check I've got all the bits before I start trial fitting that and it's pretty much the same process as what I've done here getting stuck down obviously it'll take a bit longer because I want to be a bit more detailed with it so it does look nice the carpet as you've seen that came out um, it was just sitting in place it wasn't particularly nicely done right the carpet is like a jigsaw and it's obviously a bit harder to fit when I say harder I mean it's <clears throat> not as flexible as the underlay as you can see this bit here it isn't cut to the shape which is when using the old um, ones as templates can really help to save try to guess you've got an exact mold here because it's come out so I'm gonna get this lined up cut the bits for the seatbelt anchor and for the cross member and then get it in bit by bit Gives you an idea of what it's going to be like. <clears throat> I'm just going to take my time, go around. All it is is fitting the pieces in, so I've got those bits, <coughs> got these bits to go on. I've got the part up here, all the floor, and then there's a bit, the awkwardest bit is right up the back here, which um, I'm going to be lying at some crazy angles to try and get in. But yeah, it's just a case of take your time get a nice fit because once it's in, it's in and if you get it right first time it saves you fiddling too much with it so I'm going to go, I'm going to get all this done and then we'll see what it looks like when it's finished it's sort of a mid-range carpet I got, I didn't go for the budget one, I didn't go for the luxury one, somewhere in between is what I was looking for, I was happy with that so um, I'm expecting a few fitment issues but uh, as always, I'll do the best I can. Carpet's done, the mat's in. Just need the seats to go on now and that's it finished. I'm going to tidy up a few things on the dashboard before I put the seats in, but as far as the carpet goes, that's it done. Fiddly, this bit, nightmare. Up here, nightmare. The rest, a few fitment issues, but budget. Budget carpet, so can be expected. So, yeah, it's done. It looks a hundred times better. It smells a thousand times better. And it stayed dry for me. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers!